Welcome to Africa Info Hub. In this video we are going to talk about Addis Ababa Ethiopia, the African political capital. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. Addis Ababa is Ethiopia's capital and largest city. The city was founded in 1886 and is an important commercial center. It also acts as Aromia's regional capital. The population of the city is predicted to be 5.3 million people, according to recent census. Addis Ababa, a chartered city, is well developed with major cultural, artistic, and financial centers. In 1886, Emperor Menelik II created the city on his way to capturing the ruins of kingdoms and creating Ethiopia's modern boundary. Following Italy's defeat in the Battle of Adwa in 1889, Addis Ababa became the Ethiopian Empire's permanent capital, with international embassies opening and rapid urbanization. The Prime Minister's residence, the Ministry of Peace, the Ethiopian National Defense Force, and Federal Police Headquarters, as well as the National Intelligence Agencies INSA and NISS, are all located in the city. It also houses Jubilee Palace, the African Union, and the predecessor Organization of African Unity, OAU. It also serves as the headquarters for the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, as well as several other regional and international agencies. As a result of its historical, diplomatic, and political significance for the continent, Addis Ababa is often referred to as Africa's political capital. Addis Ababa is also home to the African Union headquarters, which was inaugurated in 2012 during a ceremony attended by several heads of state from across Africa. The African Union is a union of African states, established to promote cooperation among African people. The African Union currently has 53 member states. The city is located just west of the East African Rift, which divides Ethiopia into two plates, the Nubian Plate and the Somali Plate. The city is surrounded by the Oromia Special Zone and is populated by people from all around Ethiopia. Addis Ababa University is located there. Addis Ababa is noted for its dynamic culture, powerful fashion scene, high involvement of young people, thriving art scene, and for leading the fastest economic growth of any country in Africa, thanks to its high human development. Following the post-election protests in Ethiopia's history, the country's now defunct ruling party the EPRDF, remained the country's most powerful political coalition. The Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa, served as the epicenter of the EPRDF's political power. To maintain control and dominance, three interconnected strategies were employed by EPRDF. Number 1. The use of state-led developmentalism as a legitimizing discourse in the development field. Number 2. Extension of the local governance tiers to increase the government's pervasiveness in the community. Number 3. Proactive mobilization of various social groups, such as the urban poor, young people, and women. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia's capital city, is one of the hottest tourist destinations in Africa. The city has so many attractions that it would be hard to mention them all. A visit to the National Museum is a must for everyone. It was built during Emperor Menelik II's reign. And it holds Ethiopia's heritage. The museum exhibits artifacts from prehistoric times to modern times. The Addis Ababa market is also an attraction that tourists just can't miss out on. Here you can buy souvenirs and other products at wholesale prices, as well as meet the people of Ethiopia. With a look around this market, one cannot but be amazed by the variety and richness that it has to offer. The market also houses numerous stalls that sell foodstuff, clothes, toys, and many other household items. The Addis Ababa market was established in 1872 as a marketplace for trading mainly agricultural products like coffee, tea, spices, and cotton. It has since then expanded to cover all sorts of goods from all around the world. Addis Ababa is not just a city in Ethiopia. It is one of the fastest growing cities in Africa. Addis Ababa is a good destination for tourists who want to see the African culture and traditions. The city is also known for its impressive architecture and breathtaking scenery. For all the travelers who are looking for vibrant culture, mouth-watering cuisine, and welcoming locals, Addis Ababa is a city not to be missed. With so many attractions around every corner it's hard to decide what to visit first. 
The attractions include African Union, Ark Hotel, Jeanne Hotel, Holy Trinity Cathedral, Millennium Hall, National Museum, Teddy Bear Museum, etc. The culture and heritage sites include African Union Palace Museum, Holy Trinity Cathedral, St. George's Church, etc. The capital of Africa's second most populous country is home to some of the continent's most important historic sites and natural wonders. It should be noted that Addis Ababa has been known as one of the best places to visit in Africa, which makes it an excellent destination for anyone who wants to marvel at ancient history or just relax on the world-class beaches. It is possible to stay anywhere in Addis Ababa without paying too much, but there are some places that are better than others. The best hotels in Addis Ababa are often located within the city center and offer luxury amenities like concierge service or access to a pool or spa. The nightlife of Addis Ababa is not very diverse, but it is rich. The nightlife of Addis Ababa mainly consists of bars and nightclubs. There are several hotels that have bars and entertainment centers. Nightlife in Addis Ababa starts around 5 p.m. with people starting to come out to eat dinner. Have coffee or tea at cafes, or drink alcohol at bars. There are several hotels with bars and entertainment centers in Addis Ababa. Most are located near Bowl International Airport which is why they are popular for travelers who want to enjoy an evening out, before or after their flights. Addis Ababa is one of the safest cities in Ethiopia. There are strict rules against carrying weapons in public. The capital city has a low crime rate. Ethiopia is a country with a rich culture and deep-rooted traditions. One of the most popular dishes in this country is Doro Wat which has a spicy, peppery flavor that will leave you wanting more. You will be addicted from your first bite. Abyssinia restaurant in Addis Ababa is the best place to have this dish as it's family run and they have great food, especially the Itega Tilo which is made with lentils, spices, and either beef or lamb. Abyssinia also has drinks like Guracha which is made from ginger and honey. If you want to eat at a French restaurant in Addis Ababa, then go to Chez Gabby's Bistro Francaise. It is the best French restaurant in Addis Ababa. The owner, Gabriel, is French and has lived in Ethiopia for many years. The food is authentic and delicious. Ethiopia is one of the most fascinating countries in the world. It has many traits that make this country unique. These are what make Ethiopia a unique tourist destination. The country has a rich culture, which can be seen in the various cultural festivals that are celebrated throughout the year. Ethiopia is one of the few countries in Africa that never had an official slave trade. Slavery was abolished in Ethiopia as early as 1897 and has been credited with being the first African country to do so legally. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.